What's going on guys ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video I am Nathan aka Fearsome Rider 2 ladies and gentlemen we have an amazing video here for y'all today before we get started I want to give y'all the biggest shout out in the world for getting Amer the last American farming video to 21,000 views I appreciate it it meant the world to me and my editors to know y'all really enjoyed it so we're back here today with more news more updates for the people who just want to know all of it in one go and yes ladies and gentlemen this is more of a plan to do more in the future so we're going to get directly into it. the American farming off-road trails is a premium content release that will should be available either upon release or after release ladies and gentlemen there's a couple things that come in it we'll look at this list here in a second we're going to kind of go up one really watch it for a second talk about a couple things about what i think and we got a lot more to dive into at the closer to the end of the video so ladies and gentlemen if y'all if y'all like this video so very much leave a like do what you do best ladies and gentlemen for more american farming content ladies and gentlemen the coming in the future thank y'all so very much let's get in <laughs> Okay, okay, so there's a couple things I really want to point out here. I mean, of course, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple things here and there people don't really notice. You got, of course, you got the three main uh, outfits that's coming with this one. The wheelies, I love this right here, the man in the suit doing a wheelie. I love this feature, and I'm going to point this out because not a whole lot of people do. The suspension, just look at how it wasn't a brick for that. Like if I back it up, look at that. It's just not a brick. It's not staying all one together. It's flexible. The suspension, the game, what these game designers are doing is amazing. It's to see what they're doing. I'm really loving to watch the development of this game. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I am saying this. I'm not being paid to tell you this. This is Grant does not have any influence on what I say, but it's really amazing to see a mobile game go to that next tier like American Farming is doing. And I'm really, really happy to see kind of what they're doing because you could tell it with the suspension what they're trying to do. And I mean, kind of more in the future coming. I mean, you see how it hit the ground good? Just like, just the physics right there, of how through the fire hydrant over there. That type of stuff you really don't get. The wheelies, of course. The backflips. My favorite thing about it all. Hold on. The RCC logo right there. Oh, that's a chef's kiss right there, ladies and gentlemen. Like, the rolling coal customs. To see that in American farming is pretty cool. Now, the, now this looks like more like an actual farming ATV. I'm not 100% sure, but this looks like more of the farming ATV. Love the dog on the back. That's a nice touch. You're able to pull around your trailers with this ATV. I love it. Now, I wonder if you'll be able to do it with like these ATVs or not. I don't know. It'd be nice. And then I like this little light road course thing that they have put up here so you can go off-roading. I mean, that's nice. That's a nice little touch. So that's definitely nice touches. I mean, they did really well with making the entire off-roading pack like they done. They did really, really well. I think they did an amazing job with it. But let's kind of go into a little bit more detail of exactly what's going to be in that pack. So currently, there will be three outfits, four vehicles for off-roading, a dirt bike, ATV, three-wheeler, a utility ATV, and then the dirt bike and a race ATV that can do flips and wheelies. So, okay, so... It looks more like the utility ATV will be the one that you will do more farm equipment with. It's definitely going to be more of the interesting one to play with a little bit more. And they, they've done an amazing job with making this. So, and ladies and gentlemen, I meant to make this video back before. It's just Austin made the video. I'm like, I don't want to repeat what Austin did. So I waited for more screenshots to come out. So I'm like, haha, not the same video. And that's what I'm going with. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, now this is some stuff that I didn't really mention in my last one. This is kind of where we stop. You, of course, have the trailer to what they did it does look like there's some hay bales it looks like we may do something with the hay bales i'm not 100 sure how that works i personally want to see that i personally want to see how loading things up on the trailers will go because it looks like there's some kind of chocks in here i don't know then you got the man driving it up on there it looks nice looking nice got the chocks again i mean it just looks really really nice overall I really don't have any complaints it looks really well and then you got this i think this is showing their corn like what they do 
So let's say you will chop the corn, put it in like this silo thing, and use this grain grain mixer, let's say. I want to say it's a mixer, yep, and then you pour it into the troughs. So you can use more of that stuff to more corn to actually feed your animals directly. It's kind of like doing silage. I don't know exactly what it is. Are you exactly what it is? Because I don't know. But... If I had to take a guess, it's more like doing silage, but it, you're still taking corn directly and feeding it to them, kind of similar. And then, of course, like this right here, you have the anim the cows out there in the pasture. That looks amazing to me right here, just this picture alone. That screams America to me. That screams America to me, and I'm I'm waiting to play this game so badly. I, I can't wait to have that. Now, this is something interesting. It looks like he's just dumping full corn into this. You'll be able to loan corn and chaff into the blue. Okay, so you will be putting corn, regular corn into there as well. So there's going to be a mixture of corn and chaff in there. So you have that better mixture. You can unload soybeans. Okay, corn and soybeans for, okay, the hogs. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not the biggest hog fan, so I'm not going to try to pretend like I know a whole lot about hogs. I don't use them in America. I don't use them in farming similar, so I'm not the biggest fan usually of hogs. But I'm going to give everything a shot. I mean... The viewers want to see it. They're going to get it. Their clothing. This looks amazing. It looks like they have the premium content. It looks like they have all types of stuff. It looks like they have a lot of fun, different things that's in here. You have, of course, like your hat options. This is a very well something that's interesting to me because you customizing your character. And I know another game that doesn't customize their characters. And it's really, this is something really important to some people, especially if you don't have nothing else. You want to have more of that customization. This is what you'd want to have. So you want to have that control of, I want to wear a Landall hat. I want to wear a Case IH. I want to wear a Vermeer hat. Under first. You're able to do those type of things and still be able to have fun while doing it. And then of course, you got more customizations. You got this outfit right here. Which is a preset. This is another pre. It looks like a hunting preset. So hmm, hunting DLC? Master question mark? No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> just I don't know. I, I don't know anything that that does look interesting. Like that wouldn't make me think. Hmm, is there a hunting DLC? I don't know. I don't think so. This is a farming game after all. But you got that, of course. You have more customization outfit. And then you kind of get up here to this. Which we really didn't talk about this last time because we were kind of waiting a little bit until we talked about it. Because I didn't feel like it was necessary something we needed to bring up just right. Now we'll give a kind of a quick explanation for what mine is. So you, of course, have your hogs or something like that. That you'll be able to give them soybeans and whole corn. You'll be able to do it. They'll give you manure and liquid fertilizer and liquid manure. That then you can spread across your fields for additional fertilization that will give you more money in the get-go i like this right here because it gives you the different selections you could choose from you can choose sows i mean all the way down that you want to go so it does give you more like hey i want to start off with nothing but babies grown adults it lets you choose all the way through that is something very important to a lot of people again i think that i don't know what this is honestly if i had to take a guess because it is right here above this a hog barn of some sort i'm not sure I just don't know. Um, so that's just something. Yeah. And it's just a deep. This is kind of like a deeper look and kind of what they're. Yep. Yeah. They're filling up. They're slurry filling up there. So, okay. It's going to be what you would think. So this is more of like a deeper dive in this. So it does look like they have grain drives where you can dry your grain. Make sure you're selling your grain at your best levels. And just making sure you're making the most amount of money possible. Which is great. Then you got this. You can hold. It looks like in this. You can hold a max capacity of 6,000 bushels. And you have 200,580 bushels in here. Corn. Which can I say bushels are important. Thank you for not making it liters. Because I'm tired of every time I'm trying to do something. I'm like alright. I need to pull the calculator up. How many bushel? How many liters are in a bush? Okay. How many? Yeah. Tired of that. Th this is something that makes sense to have for the American audience. Because that's what we know it as. And he built the game for the American audience. That is important to me um to say the least again another big grain silo i mean oh that that truck right there looks amazing full of corn i mean that just looks amazing yeah it looks like you're over here at the hog pen now i do like this tractor right here it's a nice looking older tractor and again the old tractors are thought out that are very important to the sustainability of a game like this i love them. there there's been so many times that people are trying to make games like this and they just don't focus on old tractors like new 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 people don't want just new we want old they were not we want old equipment looks like they're doing some type of harvest right here the grain bag or right there it, this is something or something better i don't know what that is We'll have to figure that out. Might be like another farm or something that you can buy. But it looks like they are in a tractor right here. I don't know what year model that is, but that is an older equipment. 
I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, Saish back there. I mean, you just can't go wrong with that setup. That just looks good out there in the field. And that is the end of it, ladies and gentlemen. So there's been a lot, ladies and gentlemen, going on here and there. But there's more to come. I, I can't wait to see what all they announce for this game. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. You guys can't wait. And it's just going to be amazing when it does come out. But, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate y'all so very much for watching today's video. Thank y'all for all the love and support y'all give to the channel much. But, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time. Peace!